everyone, Foxy here, and thanks for joining me on this lovely day in Star. So the weather is always perfect, and today we're playing some more Disturbed in the last episode. You can guess it. We died. And this time it was death by a giant, ferocious dog thing. Yep, giant, ferocious dog thing killed us. And now we're back in this small little place with many, many doors. And we already tried the left door, but it kind of looks like it goes to back to where we start, which wouldn't make much sense because there's also a door behind us. I don't know. And the middle door is the one that'll lead us to the cages, and then after that, a dog. And it says we're not prepared yet. So it's possible that we'll end up having to come back here and face the dog. And then to our right, there's a cauldron. And maybe we'll have to come back here and put something in the cauldron, because there was nothing in there. And of course, the boxes around us, there's a rope. I'm really hoping we have the rope already, but let's go ahead and inspect the supplies yet again. Uh, so there's nothing there, so that means we definitely have the rope already. And I think we should look at the door behind us just to make sure that it's the left door and the door behind us are different. So it looks like the door behind us is very different. It's not like the left door at all. And the left door will take us back to where we came, but the door behind us looks like it's going somewhere else. Great. You walk up the steps. You enter a large room. The air is polluted with dust and spider webs covering the walls and ceiling. Where should you go now? So we can go upstairs, downstairs, or the far door. Hmm. Now going downstairs will obviously take us back. So we're kind of stuck with Upstairs, the far door, or go outside. I say we should try the door. The door is right in front of us, so why not? The door struggles to move, but you enter into what appears to be a spider's den. No! I am so sick of spiders! Please, no, please don't be a giant spider. I have enough of those at my house already. I don't know if you guys saw the picture on Instagram or Twitter, but I get these on a daily basis and I'm sick of spiders. I don't mind spiders, but there's too many of them and they're all big and I already got bit once and I had this stinging bite for several hours, pretty much an entire day, and it was awful. So no more spiders, please. Ugh, I'm done. You bite me once, you're all gone. Please go away. I'm getting spider traps and I'm going to kill every little last one so I don't have to burn down my house. Ugh. The air is thick and the room is a mess of web and body parts. Ew! You notice that there is a couple of items in the room that could be useful. Oh no. If nothing else, there is a key on the ground that you will no doubt need. Before you can even act, a large spider falls from above. You have no doubt that it is hungry. Without hesitation, the spider attacks you. With nothing to defend yourself, the spider quickly bites you. I don't want to die anymore! Ah! You begin to lose feeling all over your body, and everything goes black. Your adventure ends here. Darn it! Ah! Well, we still have some time left, so I think we should go ahead and continue. But this time, let's not go bug the spider. It looks like we're probably gonna have to come back, but we'll have to kill the spider. In order to kill the spider, we gotta find ourselves a weapon. And this weapon may also apply to the dog that's downstairs. Oh, this game is it's getting interesting. I'm, I'm enjoying it now. I thought it was just gonna be, oh, this path you die. If you don't choose to go this path, then you won't die. You know, just keep going forward and you'll be okay. But it looks like there's more to it. There's actually gameplay. Well choosing a path, but finding items that you need. It's, it's fun. So let's go ahead and try again. So we already know what the door in front of us does. Now we can either go upstairs or outside. Let's go ahead and check and see what's outside. Standing before the tower, your heart begins to sink. This is no doubt the birthplace of the spreading plague. Oh boy. Oh boy, we... Could we actually win at this game? Could we stop the plague? Oh my goodness, please. 
There is a fountain before you with statues on the right and left. Oh no, more, more areas to go. We could enter the tower, inspect the fountain, inspect the statue on the left, or inspect the statue on the right. Ah, uh, I'm gonna eventually forget, like, what I need to do first and what everything does. Ooh. Well, knowing me, let's inspect the statue on the left. You see an old statue of an angel that has been consumed by vines and thorns. The angel is holding a book in one hand, the other with one finger pointing up toward the sky. You feel it's best to leave the statue alone. You know, I just thought of something. We know where a weapon is, but the darn guy won't let us take it. Hmm, feels like maybe we had to bring him something to settle him down, and then get his sword, and then use the sword on the spider. Stupid speeders. I'm, I'm so sick of speeders right now. Now let's go ahead and inspect the statue on the right. Before you stands an old statue that has broken many areas. With one hand, the angel is holding some sort of a bowl, while the other hand is hovering over the bowl. You notice that there is only two remaining fingers on the angel's other hand. I wonder why that's significant. Do we have to find your fingers, dear angel? Bring them back to you and you'll give us something. Maybe, maybe not. I'm sorry about that. Now that we've inspected those, let's inspect the fountain before us. There is a dark haze about the fountain. The water is black, and the smell burns with every breath. You feel a slight pull toward the fountain, as if it were calling for something. Hmm. So it looks like we can either enter the tower or exit the gated area. Let's go ahead and enter the tower and find out what we need to know. You approach the door. As you reach for the doorknob, an invisible barrier stops you. It must be some sort of magic. Oh, so it looks like we can't do anything in this room. All we've seen so far is the fountain and the two different statues. The one missing two fingers, which I'm trying to figure out why that is so significant. I feel like we have to go find some angel fingers now. You reach the end of the pathway. In the distance is a tower looking over the area. A gate secures passage to the area with a wall around the property. Oh no, we're back to this part. Oh, oh boy. Hmm. You know, I want to go back to the fountain and see if it'll let us grab that coin now that we have that rope. So let's go back there. Here we are. We're now at the well. Let's inspect the well. Let's try grabbing the coin. Let's see if we die or if it'll automatically like pull out a rope or something. Ah, you pull out the rope you found earlier and fasten it to the well. You climb down with ease and obtain the coin. You struggle to pull yourself up and out of the well, but you do so successfully. You then loosen the rope and store it away. You feel somewhat satisfied that you are one coin richer. Well, we managed to get a coin in this episode. Now what do we do with the coin? Let's go find ourselves a unicorn and find out. Here we are. Let's see if this is what we need. So it looks like the coin will not charm our unicorn. Can we maybe use the coin at the stone pillars? Nope. Can we give the coin... Can we give the coin to the guy with the sword? Hmm. Seems like it's best that we leave the sword alone as well. So now that we're back at the tree, we can either go through the path through the trees again, or we can go to the gate. Now we haven't yet gone to the gate, but we'll go to the gate in the next episode. Well, anyway guys, thanks for joining me on this lovely day, 
And if you're new to my channel, please not the subscribe, boop the like, and join Team Foxy. And if you're already a subscriber, you know what to do. You boop that like button. You boop it. And in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to choose one or the other and continue on our way now that we have our nice gold little coin. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye!